Welcome back to Designs by Shy. So in today's video, we are going to be going over how to recreate this look. Um, we're not going to be using this exact picture, but it's basically going to be the same with a different picture and different words. And then we're going to recreate this look as well. Once again, not the same picture, but I'm going to show you how to get uh, basically your sizing for this. Really easy. I'm not going to do um too much detail because if you watch my last video of how to do the music plex it's basically the same the only difference is your sizing is going to be different because of your sizing of your frame is different all right so let's go ahead and get right into the video you guys okay so the first thing you're going to do to get the right measurements you're going to need for your template is you're going to take your mat and i have the 12 by 24 and you're going to basically place it on here um, let's see. you're going to place it on there and you want to actually take it out the, out the frame when you do it. So you can measure just the glass, but I already glued this down with E6000. So I'm just going to do it this way. So you want to take whatever it is you're, um, putting vinyl on and you want to get your measurements off of here. So this is a seven by 14. So I, I know that I need a rectangle template of a seven by 14 and then this one we're gonna do this same way and then it's gonna it looks like a 12 by 12 but it's gonna actually be 11 by 11 because uh, like I said you're, you're just gonna measure just the glass so when you do your measurements for this project take the frame off and measure just the glass on your mat so you know exactly the size of the template you will need all right, so that's that part. Now we're going to go over to the computer portion. Okay, so you're going to upload the images you would like for your picture frames. And then you're going to go over to shapes. Grab your square. You're going to unlock the square. And one is going to be a 7 by 14. That's actually going to be the one for this. Now, I always send my shape to the back so you can put everything on top of it. And then the other one will be 11 by 11. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and take care of this one first. So, we're going to go to the font. We're going to enter and loving memory of, and this font is the Banco Corn Heavy. I hope I pronounced that right. And let's see. And this font is a font that you have to pay for. Um, like I do pay for Cricut Design Space, but even with that, I still have to pay for this font. So I'm going to show you a way to go around having to pay for that. Now we're going to type in the name. So now I'm going to weld these two together. And once I weld it together, then I don't have to worry about it charging me for that font. Now we're going to type in the dates. And then to get the dash, it's just the dash, and I'm going to, I don't know what happened to it. I'm just going to take it here.
And once again, I'm going to weld this together and put it up here. So you can now just play with this how you want. Um, or you can now just play with this until you get the size that you want. So I'm going to hide the template now. I want to change these to white. Okay, so that's it for that. Um, that project is done. And then for this one, I'm going to go ahead and put her name here. I'm going to align it in the center. Put it here. I'm actually going to change the font. Pretty much just going to scroll until I find one that I like. Go with this one. Okay. Once again, you're going to play with the size until you got it how you like it. All right, so now I can go ahead and hide this square and we are ready to print. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that in black. All right, now we're gonna click make it. So now you wanna insert your paper into the printer and for the paper, you can use any sticky paper. So printable vinyl, sticker paper, shipping labels, anything like that. You can use that. It's all about a preference at this point. I'm going to be using sticker paper for this project, and I will leave the link to all three of those that I just named in the description box below um, for you guys to purchase as well. So this is what the picture frames look like when you go to the Dollar Tree. Um, you're just going to open it. You're going to take the complete backing off. Real simple. I'm not going to open these, and I forgot to record when I opened this. So, I just fold these little things backwards, but all you got to do is wiggle it and pull it out. It comes right out. So that's just a preference. Whichever one you um, choose to do is up to you. We're going to do this one first. All right. So, now I'm just going to basically size it up and see how I want it. If you watch my other video of the music plaques, then you already basically already seen this process. This video is just to um, show people how to do the measuring of the different frames. So the process and everything is still the same, but So it's basically like saying I'm making the same video twice, but that's okay. Whatever it takes um, for you guys to get it. Like I said, it's, it's real simple. The process, like I said, is basically the same. It's just the measuring is different, obviously. But once you get the measuring down and you get the template, um, the habit of making a template. I make a template for everything I do. It's just easier that way. So, once you get in the habit of making a template, then you won't really have too many issues as far as sizing things up.
like I said, really simple, really easy. I hope it was easy to follow. Um, templates, that is your key to sizing, guys. So if you are having questions about how to size things correctly or on anything, size it on the mat. That way you have almost an exact uh, size and then create that same template on your computer and then go from there. As you can see, I didn't go and figure out the exact measurements of my words or pictures or anything like that. I just fit it onto that template how I like the way it looks and then print it off and cut it and boom, that is that. So this is the final look for this one. Now this is a little glare from the ring light. And then this is the final look for this one guys so like i said you see how perfect everything lined up without me having to stress about sizing of things so like i said guys make that template is it makes your life easier i promise you it makes it easier as always please like comment and subscribe and subscribe to my son's youtube channel the link will be in the description below join us in the crafting group for our cousins. I literally just forgot the name of the group. Crafting Cousins? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, join our group. Um, become part of the family. That will also be linked in the description below. I will try to link every, all the different types of uh, adhesive paper. So being the sticker paper, the printable vinyl, and the uh, shipping labels also in the description below. Please use that link to purchase, guys. That does help me with Amazon um i have to get so many items sold by a certain date so i don't get kicked out of the affiliate program so if you can i would greatly appreciate that i mean if not that's fine no no, no big deal nothing to stress over um but de definitely i just want to say thank you as always thank you for the subscription thank you for the likes the comments even the dislikes because you still had to view the video to dislike it and all the shares i've got i've gotten a ton of love between the group and on my personal page and my business page and just the youtube channel so thank you guys enough i really cannot even stress it enough how grateful i am for everything i appreciate you guys let me know any other videos you would like to see and until next time guys